Well, have you gotten your Halloween outfit? Maybe you could be Captain America, a naughty nurse, or my favorite, Hello Kitty. Well, Linda's here with Halloween Spirit, and she's going to tell us all about the fun and exciting things that they have here at the store. Well, hi, Nicole. Thanks for coming in today. Absolutely. Thank yeah. you so much for having us. We've had just had a great day today. We are all ready for our crowds to come in because, you know, everybody's a procrastinator. Mm -hmm. Last minute is huge with us. Absolutely. And uh, we're fully stocked. We actually own Halloween. I didn't know if you know that, but Spirit Halloween owns Halloween. Absolutely. We are here for Halloween. That's the only reason we're here. So we are fully stocked and ready for everybody to come in. Absolutely, and let's do, you know, change gears just for a second because not only do you guys own Halloween, but you do so much to give back to the community. Talk a little bit about that. Well, our foundation is Spirit of Children. Mm -hmm. To date, we've raised over $60 million in the last six years. We've given back to several not-for-profit hospitals in Canada and the United States. Our local hospital here, Baptist Hospital of Southeast Texas, we have a huge party for them which is completely out of my pocket we're thrilled to be able to do it for the kids but the donations that we take in the store are for all year for the hospital they go to the child life center the child life specialists there buy computers ipads relaxation stations things that make uh, life a little less scary for the kids when they come in the hospital and that's all year so we do definitely ring the bell and we like to take money in our Nederland store, our Beaumont store, and our friend Jason in Lake Charles is also collecting for Baptist Hospital. So we're thrilled and we have a big goal this year and I think we're going to exceed it. So we're oh. thrilled. All right, and you know, just before he gets a little too rowdy, I brought my son BJ, and he is dressed as a boxer. He's a little Muhammad Ali. Uh-oh, he's taken off the other way. BJ, say hi to the camera. Like he's got his boxing gloves and he's got his little muscle shirt on. <laughs> so he's he's ready for his fight. And of course he's a champion. Do you yeah. see his little champion yeah. belt? Yeah. So he just won the fight. <laughs> so, but okay, I wanted to walk over here and look at this spider. Now you were telling me about this spider. It might be a little scary for my one one year old, but so do it so I step on it and see what happens. Okay. <gasps> And of course, this is just one of many items that you have that, you know, it's not just like costumes, but you also have a lot of accessories to go with the costumes, correct? Yes, it, we do. We have several, several accessories. We've got makeup, eyelashes, all kinds of earrings, jewelry, wigs, hats, masks, you name it, we've got it. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have petticoats, mm -hmm. we have shoes, hose, just everything you need to make your costume 100%. Absolutely. And I was looking over here. You guys have these cages over here. Now, is that something to put in your front yard? Well, this is actually our asylum. Each store has an in-store experience. Mm -hmm. This year, we have a circus theme. Mm -hmm. We also have our asylum. And I understand that there's a lot of stuff in that asylum that happens at night when we're gone home. So oh. we have our cemetery angel in there, and she actually guards the store at night. Mm -hmm. We have our berserker guy and our berserker lady. We have our electrician guy. We've got uh, some zombie babies that like to romp around at night, too. So that's our asylum. We kind of keep them in the back of the store. So Ooh. not too scary for the little kids. Absolutely. Really mm -hmm. scary. All right. Well, we are at Halloween Spirit, of course, on Dallin Road. And not only do they have all of the different costumes that you may be looking for, but they also have those accessories to scare those trick-or-treaters. We'll be right back after the break. <laughs> 